Hey guys, Average Man here reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Leader Class Galactic Man uh, Shockwave and here he is and let's look at the box it comes in. It's a bigger box than last time. As you can see it's uh, an online exclusive General, General Selects. I think that this is what this line is called. General Selects. So there's, uh, it's not your your regular retail figures leader class galactic man shockwave what does that mean well let's look at the spray paint here not bad not bad I still like it I still like the way it drips and we see here we just warnings and stuff on the back there's nothing up here an upside down transformers and Continuing with the logo, and that's pretty much it. And let's look at Galactic Man Shockwave, and oh, having a little case of deja vu. Then we just reveal this like about a few episodes ago, and yeah, we did. It's it is Shockwave in his Galactic Man colors. A little backstory, if I remember correctly. Uh, back then, you know, in 1984, 1985 that around time you know they made the Transformers toys they came from two different toy lines in from Japan brought it over to America made it combined two of them two, 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 eh, two toy lines to create the Transformers well not every Transformer came from those two toy lines uh, I think this one came from a different toy line and then uh, Radio Shack had some some rights to create this toy for America or produce it, license it to sell it. Radio Shack had this, the purple one, I think, or actually, actually, I think it was in this gray model and call it Galactic Man. As you can see, right there. So, yeah, when it when Transformers became popular, they did the purple version and call it Shockwave. But you could still get a Radio Shack version. And this is an homage to that of, as well. Just gray and black. Just looking at the different gun turrets. And detailing. You could also use this as uh, some sort of Shockwave power. He does, Shockwave does have the ability to clone himself. So you could get pick this one up and have this as the black and white clone. You know what? I actually that does kind of happen in the Transformers Devastation video game. When you fi fight Shockwave, he does he does create clones of himself and they're black and white like this. So yeah, you could recreate that if you want. But enough about that. We already saw the details. Articulation wise, nothing really. Pop this out if you wanted to. That's uh, pretty much it. Remember, uh, he is not a blaster. No matter how much it looks like, he is not a blaster. Hello there. He is not a blaster. He is a spaceship. Remember, Hasbro says no, no to toy guns. It's a spaceship. So with that out of the way, Let's compare him to Deluxe Class Skytread. And of course, being a leader class, he is much bigger. Much bigger. Much, much, much. Here he is with Voyager Class Megatron. See how that works out? much more plastic here and uh, that's pretty much it in this mode so let's transform him he's a transformer of course he should transform so let's start off over here in this part you just couldn't unconnect can be a peg and tab right here these two are going to separate and I think there's one more connection right here all you got to do is just disconnect all of them as such the other side too. 
gonna be another point right here I think I am pretty sure so just keep pulling and keep pulling we'll set this aside for now you come over here all you gotta do eh. let's see it has a hole right here and a tab or a slot got the tab and right here it just goes in there same thing over here ah, and there is litter class sound wave shock wave rather have I been saying sound wave this whole time it's shock wave again he is not a blaster he is not a blaster at all no no matter how much you really want it he is not a blaster come over here get his landing gear and just fold it in or oh, it's kind of a double hinge so you want to you want actually no you want to fold it in like that All right let's start at the leg shall we we'll disconnect this hose disconnect the bridge right in the center we're gonna actually before we do that it will be easier to take this whole piece it's gonna be slotted in his belly button. So we just pull that out. See these two tabs will go right there. Pull that, and then we wanna split the bridge after folding these wings down. Boop, boop. And then we'll come over here, separate right here. Aha. Fold this down for now. Right here on his legs, they'll fold out a bit. Kind of like this. Let's do that again in slow motion to see it. We'll just kind of pull it. And then we'll bring this up on that hinge. Bring that in. Come over here. This will go this way. And you see that tab kind of right there, right here below my, right there. I'll go in here. So we just close that up. Other side, same thing. Oh, this one like stay in there. There you go. Bring this around and close that up. Then at the at the thigh, go around, and turn around. There we go, we got his lower body done. Come over here, we bring this up, open that up, bring his arm down, bring his other arm down, you can connect the hose to that forearm. I'm gonna co come up to his backpack, close that, and just bring it down and just push it in. It'll lock in place. Come over here. Gonna bring out his his chest plate. Bring up the head. Now you see these two tabs here. It's just like last time. Go right there, oh, uh, right there, and right there. Close that in. And also on the back, these two tabs will go into two slots back here. So you kind of want to line it up and push in. And there we have Shockwave. Galactic Man Shockwave or Shadow Clone Shockwave. However you want to play with this toy. And just like last time, let's take a look at the Nice light piping there. Now that's those are the Terminator colors. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Are you sad, Connor? Like that. Kind of bright in here, so the sun is making it. Oop. Nice. Take a look at the. You got the Galactic Man. Could be a superhero for the Decepticons. Nice detail. 
fist action going on. Coming down to the feet. No battle damage on him. I don't think there's even battle damage on the on the regular shockwave. We'll take a look at that when we do comparison. Little uh, hole right here, so you could plug in any weaponizers. Down here. Again, I think I mentioned it before, every single figure in this line has ports on the bottom of the feet to add a, add blast effects or more weaponizer parts. Ah, and there he is. But what's with all this extra stuff? Hmm, what to do, what to do. I know, let's add it to him. Come over here. You just break that apart. There, and then tiny hole right there is connected to this and this. So we'll pull this up, pull the wing up, set that aside. Come over here, same thing. Pull. Bring the wings up. Now, we're going to give him some rocket boots. Aha! You got rocket boots. And yes, you could connect this to as well as a surfboard. Now, well, let's do that now, shall we? Let's not forget. I don't want to leave any details behind. So, what you're going to do is, I believe, if I remember last time, again, this doesn't show, this is not shown in the instructions at all, but it was on the back of Shockwave's box package. So. Again, let's have that aside for now. We could come over here and I think we will combine these two together. This tab will fit into this little slot right here. This tab. So we do that. Shall we, we shall we shall do that. And come over here. As you can see, we got two pegs right there, right there. We're going to these two pegs right there. Just kind of line it up. Let's get this out of the way real quick. And it will be these two on the outsides. Well, you know, maybe I'll work with one at a time, shall we? When it comes for non-instructional forms, I am, I am never good. Get that out of the way. Man, it fall. It's fallen. Maybe I should have practiced this. I have all the time in the world now to practice. Alright, got that. Let's bring on the other one. Bring on the who are you? There you go. Uh. Mm. Work with me here. Work with me. Move this out of the way. There you go. Why is that so difficult? Now that's connected. Come over here. And connect that. And these two parts. You want to fold this in, fold that in, come over here. This peg right here will go, I believe, right here in this one. Move that up. Same side, or ah, uh, different side. And there is Shockwave Surfboard, right there. Yeah, work with me here. Uh, you know, you, you get the gist of it, right? Pick it all together. There we go. And he goes right around Cybertron. 
on this surfboard. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> now, enough of that fan model. Fan mode. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty again. Move that. Remove that. Take this off. Take. Nah. Now they want don't want to come off. Hard time put them in on. Put it put them then on. I can't talk correctly. Give him his booster feet. And if you want to add even more weaponizers to his booster feet, there's still pegs down here or pegs uh, slots. Hold ports, 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 ports. Go. Grab this one. Bring the arm out, and then you see a peg there. Going over here, you got a peg on his shoulder. Just you just slide it in. Same deal over here. Bring out the other arm, gun arm. Slide it in. Slide it. Slide it in. You know, I even do some articulation before we continue on. His head is on a ball joint. He does have a little wiggle waggle. You could turn his head all the way, but this part will get in the way. His shoulders can go up and down due to transformation like that. It could do a full 360, but on this side, you got to watch out for the, for the tube, but it can go all the way around. Does have some take this off. Take that off. Does have some bicep swivel. Bring at the elbow. His his wrist and his gun can do can swivel. This is actually this gun is actually called according to the manual. The thermal range neuron beam. While these are called the Gamma Disruptor Launcher. And these little rocket boots, they are called the Dual Post Radiograph. So yay. He does have waist rotation. Oh, my computer. I don't know if you heard that sound. His legs on a soft ratchet. I know you can hear that clicky, cl clickety clack. His rocket boot fell. He does have thigh rotation. Another ratchet at the knee. He does have some ankle tilt. You just like the sound of that. And his feet do not go up and down, just side to side. Now let's continue on, continuing on. That, that, get this side over here. We're gonna open it up a bit so we can have clearance. Come to the back, drop it down. Wanna get the arms ready, so I'm gonna fold it that way. Fold it that way. And basically it doesn't really connect anywhere except for this port right here. And on the other side. To that. So we're just going to close it down. And connect those parts. And there we go. We have o Dr. Octopus. AKA Shockwave, AKA Galactic Man. And he does look, he does look formidable. formidable. You don't want to meet him in a battlefield. It's one, two, three. Oh, these are going backwards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, seven, because don't count this. Seven ways to shoot at you. And if you're coming up from behind, now, for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Skytread. He 
measures up with a litter class and a deluxe. Here he is with Voyager class Megatron. A lot more bulkier this guy. And here he is with the original OG Shockwave. Well, not the original original, but Shockwave right here. And it is basically the same exact mode. The only difference is colors. And he also has the Galactic Man a name tag right there. And we have Decepticon logos on this guy. But other than that, it's the exact same toy. Just different colors. Same molding. Same everything. But this is the original. And then, poof, it makes a clone. But yeah. Whoop. And there we go. But we have so many ports. We got here for blasting points. Right there, a good shot in his his shoulder pad and my my shoulder pad. It's been shot. Could make it come out of the uh, the guns. Any of the blast points you get will fit. They all have the same area, but I like this one because it looks like it's getting something fired. Uh, you get, get shot in the knee. Come down here. Shoot there. You have rocket boots. Uh, actually, that not that slot. Perhaps this one. No, that's too small. There you go. I just didn't push it in all the way. He goes, woo! You get shot in multiple po points up here too. Mm, that's pretty much it right here. And his waist. That's a a killer move right there. Again, with this big backpack on too, you can have a weaponizer back here. And I think that's pretty much it for Galactic Man Shockwave. He is an online exclusive. And when I'm talking about exclusives, I'm talking uh, in the US. I think in other countries, some of these were also in general retail. But as far as in the US is concerned, he is an online exclusive. So try to find him online if you can. And that's pretty much it for him. Until next time, this is Average Man Sane. See ya.